in this channel. We have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants because you know why? This is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin today's reaction. The hero of justice, Kurumi. And I missed the part where she got tricked into murdering her own friend. And you guys told me, like, I didn't understand that those monster looking things, you know, were berserk humans that couldn't compact, that weren't compatible, right? Nah, I think she's actually a hero. I think she's actually a really good character. She has killed a lot, though. I mean, I mean, this is true. She has killed a lot, but I'd say it's justified somehow. Damn. Seeing Kurumi vulnerable like this is so different. Shido, why aren't you realizing Takamiya? Takamiya, ah! Oh. Takamiya Mana. Takamiya Mio. Takamiya Shido. Westcott knew to use your bed once more, right? I'm not sure what she's referring to here, but I thought that she just wanted to use your bed with this immense spiritual power to go back and kill. Then no one would have to suffer. And therefore, Shido wouldn't somehow suffer. This is for Shido's sake too, apparently. But that also means we would have never met. What about all the spirits and the memories we've made together? Nah, we can't. We'll do it ourselves in our own different way. There's gotta be a different solution. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 what are, you, what are you doing right now? I feel like this isn't the moment for this. Don't, you don't have to whore yourself out right now because of that, no! Is she wearing the lingerie we bought today? Are we doing this? No. No, they wouldn't. No, they're not gonna have a sex scene. The bra is off. Do we... No, I don't think it's happened yet. I, like, it just doesn't feel right. Kurumi's ass cheeks! Holy shit. They're just going all out with the season finale. Uh, the the Billsy Bob's sister, daughters. Kurumi's ass cheeks again. Yo, we're... God damn. And what did she do to Shido? She was, like, cutting us. But he, like, didn't die. And then we just woke up. You want to watch? But Kurumi has clones, too. Bang, bang. You gotta really... <laughs> let her dress up again. Really? Like... <laughs> she gotta fight naked? Alright, Shido. I've frozen them. Let's go back now. Why'd she pass out? Too much use of... Maybe her angel powers. Ellen. Yo, why does it feel like the powers change? What the fuck? Ellen's... Ellen? Fight. Fight right now. She's been technically failing since season two! Yo! What the fuck?! What's God's like? Oh, this is kind of hilarious. Leak. Who's leaking? Who's leaking? Who's a traitor? But our attacks... I'm not following. I still don't understand how Kurumi knew about Ellen arriving at her place. Remember? And then she sent Mana? Oh. Five years ago! That's, 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 that's five years ago, Kurumi! I love this design. What? But, but, uh, is, is this the test baby theory that I had? And then there was the hit, the red, red light, remember? And, and then there was some weird scene of just like red light and she's like, ah, and then we just played along afterwards. And then, yeah, red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his head got cut off or... Ellen's laser beam? So then we went back in time. That's how she, Kurumi knew about Ellen was gonna attack. So then, well, Kamal should heal this, right? And then we reverse time, go back, and then we prevent... Oh shit, what the fuck? You all were all there? Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of a spirit battle. How do we even defeat, like, these spirits? Because, like, no matter how many times we kill them, there's so many of them. It just feels like they don't stop, you know? Unless we get the source of the power, it'll never end. And... Holy shit, the friend. All of this happened and we never even knew. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. This is a good opportunity. Toka, invert now. Bring back Tenka. Everybody invert. Fuck it. Every one of you just invert. But isn't that Westcott's goal? Invert. But then we go back in time somehow, right? <laughs> Here's your other arm. <laughs> Who's the OG here? This is so crazy, man. Her power is just... It's fucking insane. Yes, I'm okay, me. Are you okay, me? Yes, I'm okay, me. Oh. What is this tornado? Did everyone go invert? Is that the Yamai twins inverted? Yo, they inverted all, didn't they? Show me the design! Please, show me the design! I'm not asking for much! But yeah, that was Westcott's plan, right? To basically gather all the spirits and then somehow make Shiro, like, be the reason that they get inverted. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. Bring his head like that. Interesting that if his head's cut off, I guess Kamel obviously doesn't work. And we're healed up. Great. And then we go back in time somehow. Does she use Yod bed? Then? She has to. How else will we directly go back into that timeline? You can reattach a head, but the life is still lost. Devour him. And then you get the spirit energy and you go Yod bed. Go back. I've never seen Kurumi in this much despair in my life. Like, so much Kunmi emotions that we never knew existed. All on display this episode. Eat him. You'd bet. A kiss? Sealed? How does that work? Hot. But the astral dress isn't coming out from them. What? You'd bet. You'd bet. Which one was that again? I, I don't know. Mind into the past. I didn't know about that. Oh, okay, that's huge, but why is it repaired now? Another Kurumi went back into the past and then is warning. I, I, I time travel so hard to understand, but... So she, the heart was already opened. We already... So did it seal or did it not seal? I'm confused. Because it was sealed away. Just that part of the power. Just partially sealed away. Didn't realize that could work like that. What? 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 I, I, how the fuck was I ever supposed to guess this? That's impossible. If it was kind of foreshadowed that her sixth, uh, you know, that one was gone, then maybe I could have done like crazy again, but ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way I could have ever called this. Damn. The commitment. The dedication is insane, huh? I mean, all the lot of the girls are loyal to Shiro. Origami especially, Toka. I mean, all of them are, but... This is really cool, too, saying Kurumi be like, I'll fucking die. Yeah, I'll just die for Shiro, do it. Yep. Bang, bang. That's the first time we've ever seen it used, right? And the mind has now been sent to the past. What day is it? February 8th, not Valentine's yet. Now we can redo everything with the knowledge that she knows. And that's how she knew Elmo was going to attack. Huh. 204 times we failed that many times. The the paper cuts, right? Yeah. Because I was like, we wake up the next day and it's fine. It was like, what the fuck? Nothing happened. And we missed all those kisses over and over. 208 times. Yeah, I thought that they would actually eat Shino, but... Well... It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> hmm? My feelings for you... Yeah, what about him? What about him? Say it! Say it! Confession scene? Something? Come on. Come on. No! Why? Why? Why is this Kurumi preventing... This could have me. I, I, I don't know. What about your feelings, though? <laughs> Bitch, get back into bed. Let the younger you talk. Liar. It's not like I care about you or anything. I just want your spirit powers. Liar. Liar. I bet that's kind of true, but still liar. Bye. Was that the OVA Kurumi then? 
I, I don't know. Maybe it's a different Kurumi too. I don't know. The design is from the five years ago Kurumi, but I thought that because she's referring to the younger one, it's the OVA Kurumi. She's really against telling, you know, Shido about how we feel about Shido, but... Why is she so adamant about, you know, not letting that be clear? Oh. Yeah. You can only blame yourself. You are me and I am you. Yeah, don't we deserve that? Of course he does. Yeah, like... Why are you so against it? Maybe she's just so shy? About what? Oh my god, she's bringing this card and she's that embarrassed. I didn't realize Kurumi had this kind of soft spot too. Wow. I thought she'd be super mature about it. We are! And this is the older Kurumi too, right? The younger one is like mocking the older one. Phantom! Phantom! But this time... Rainy's hair. Long hair. Right? Maybe? What is this phantom, man? How does it relate to the origin spirit? Phantom? Why? Why would you? What is this? Fucking Mushoku Tensei phantoms? The human guy just shows up whenever he wants and just gives us tips? I'm surprised she's dodging it. Would she actually get damaged if we hit her? It probably won't work. I, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh! Rain it! Hair! It's a ponytail! Show me your face! Rainy voice is there! Rainy? Show me the zombie panda in your pocket. Temporary form! Holy shit! The panda there! The panda there! I mean, damn! It's really just Rainy! Like the current Rainy right now. I thought that she might have forgotten all the memories and shit. I, I don't. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the pieces are coming together. But it's not fair, Rainy didn't have a white dot in her eye. I, I doubt that she's gonna be defeated that simply though. And now, Kurumi actually has the knowledge. So in case shit goes wrong, we can just go- That's a lot of girls, holy fuck. I forget how many we have. But Kurumi has the knowledge. We can relay that to us and then now we'll be aware of, you know, what the Phantom and Reina's true identity is. But there's a Reina here! Where's the one Reina? I want the Reina's! I... Oh! Oh, I don't know what? How? Who? This? Th which does the rain that we know is actually the rain that we do know, but then the other rain is body. But look at the eyes! Look at her! Look at us! I don't know anymore, bro. That's the end? That's a fucking insane cliffhanger. Y'all tell me, every one of you that watched season four live, it ended there, and now you just have been waiting to see what happens after Kurumi sucked. The supposed Reine down. And now, Tok and, 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 and like the conflict's not over yet. And the real Reine is might not be the true Reine because the because the Reine that we know is on Fraxness right now. And but the way that the, she looked at, at the end was very sus and I I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I'm lost. I'm so lost. I but I, I am glad that, you know, because season five should be coming up pretty soon. So it's not like I have to wait too long like you guys did, but goddamn. I was cooking. I was cooking. I think no. I don't think it was that crazy of a guess. I think a lot of people probably figured out that the origin spitter is somehow related to Reine, but there's still a lot of missing answers. For example, Shido and Shintaro. How does that work? And another fact is, how can Shido actually kiss and see all the girls? We have no clue how that works. Who's the boy that Elliot was mentioning that looks just like Shido? I have no clue. Elliot was in love with the origin spirit, but somehow that turned wrong. Therefore, the Reina that we do know on Fraxness is probably the origin spirit. But how does the origin spirit differentiate itself from Phantom? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? Phantom is the inverse of the origin spirit. And, and the Reina that we know is the normal spirit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, Data Lab is done. Are you guys happy? I gave you enough fucking content every day. Well, not every day, but daily uploads almost. Now we're done. We got two episodes of Data Bullet though next. And we're going to do that. And then following this up, we might do a little bit more Data Live content on stream maybe. So just like a tier list. Maybe we'll read a visual novel. 
who knows but hey if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content until next time take care